All right, on to part three, the actual thing itself. Now, with the R4 card, yeah, that'll come up automatically. I never use that option. I always use this one. Because if I scan it, the R4 card itself, all of the games that are here in this one file, they'll vanish. All right, and it'll be really difficult to get them back. Now, here we go. Poker Gen. Shock of Poker Generator. All right, let's get that minute to load up. There we go, right. And this is how Poker Gen works for those who haven't really seen or even done this before. So, first thing I'm gonna do is open. Games, right. And I think I'll go for Black 2. Alright, yeah, there's already a pre hacked Pokemon on this, and I'm not even going to get into detail with that. So, let's have a look. 30, 30, 12. Let's do a box 9. Alright, so the first Pokemon I'm going to do, well, start as, you know, get rid of this, because I don't need that anymore. Move that, and move this. Move that down a bit more so I can see. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, um, you know, let's do a classic Gen 3, uh, well, Generation 1 Pokemon from Gen 3. Oh, well, that's a permanent ID section. Okay, right, whatever. So, let's do... Oh, no, Matt Champ. Alright, now, what I like to do is I like to try and, you know, make a permanent ID for this kind of thing. Because, you know, it's, uh, I, I just believe it's important, you know, to try and keep it appear legit when, as a matter of fact, it's me who's, like, jacked it up. Okay, so my champ. Uh, jolly. Let's keep it male. Shiny. No, don't want that shiny. No one wants shiny, my champ. Search. So jolly, male, shiny, no opponent IDs there. Right. Experience. Shit up to level 100. Nature Jolly. Item. Master Ball. Happiness doesn't matter. Ability. Guts. Of course, it's going to be from the Generation 3. Now, Origin. My beloved Fire Red. I love that game. Shiny Leaf, none. Because he doesn't need it. Nickname, none. Doesn't need it. Ball. Let's have a look. Where's that mouse? Nest, Net, Pokeball, Premier, Quick, Pace, Fire, Spot. You know, just play an Ultra Ball. Because that's legal back in that generation. Right, location. It's a little bit difficult to do this one handed. Rock. Oh wait, no, that's not how it's done. 
Um, Far Away Plus. Okay, this is like the origins of that Pokemon. Uh, the date doesn't really matter because last time I checked it's not. Um, it's not from, you know, any particular event kind of thing. So, yeah, now my favourite parts of the stats. So, despite the fact that I've set a permanent ID, I can literally manipulate the stars into just about anything I want. Doesn't need a special attack if I would need it. Two, five. Two. The attack. Two, five. And two for the speed. Alright. Rain six can just go on that. Yeah, if you exceed any of these, it's not going to transfer. Believe me, I've tried. Right, what's the move set? Oh, right, okay. So much champ. Fire leaf green level 17. Max attack speed. Jolly. Right, okay then. Doing these. I'll just do a drop down and then type it in. Dynamic punch, mega kick. And since uh, it's from Generation 3, yeah, those moves are legit, technically. Poison. Jab, stone, edge, and there we go, that's the move set. I can also max the PPs if I want to, which I will be doing. the OT. Um, yeah, what I love about the original trainer is that I can make any ID that I like. Like literally any name, anything that I like, like practically anything. So yeah, anyway look, that's basically how, oh yeah, wait, I've got to generate that Pokemon. So if I right click here, set all of that information, that is how I do a Pokemon. Now I'm going to just go, I'm just going to do like the other remaining, um, the remaining five and then I'll show you the results of uh, what's been done in the uh, part four of it.